Hi everyone, I'm Famicman, and this is the first episode of a new IPTV show called Obsolete. Now, as you can see, I'm surrounded by some pretty old and pretty interesting looking stuff, and uh, a lot of people might argue that this stuff is pointless, there's no use to it at all, but it, through this show, I'm going to try to show that everything here has a story, everything here has another use. That's the main point behind this show. I might mix in some newer content, some some things with new computers, but I think I'm mainly going to focus on older hardware, older software, stuff like that. Now without further ado, going into the first segment, the lineman's handset. Hi guys, I'm Fama Command, and I'm going to be showing you the lineman's handset today. It's, uh, it's also known as a butt set, and this is what the telephone guys who would climb your telephone pole would have. Uh, this one has a rotary dial, so you can tell it's a little old, and uh, you know it's a little beat up, got some wear. But um, when I'm looking at it, I mean all the the cord casing, everything looks nice here. I mean it's in, I think it's in pretty good condition for what it is. I mean, you know these things probably fell to the ground a lot, and uh, I was lucky enough to pick one up, and now I'm gonna show you some things with it today. Now the first thing I'd like to show is the switch on the side here. See that? There's a little switch here, you can press it in, slide it, slide it out. Now when it's out like it is right now, that's in monitor mode. So you can just hear calls, you can put this in your house, and whenever somebody calls you can just pick it up and hear it. Nobody will even know that you're listening. And then if you go to the other mood, that's talk. So you can use it to talk like a normal phone probably be used for testing out in the field, but you can just use it as a regular house phone if you really wanted to. Now what's also really interesting is the type of clips that are used here. Now these are alligator clips with a single spike in them. You can see there's a little spike in there. That's so you can just pierce the wire. You don't have to take any of the casing off the wire, you can just pierce it. Now, hook this back up. Give it a quick test. Alright, so we're on the line. Now what I have right here is a regular rotary phone. Normal spinny dial. And this right here is a Radio Shack mini speaker amplifier amplifier speaker which will just make this sound louder on this rotary phone I have a little uh, microphone pickup that I've attached to the back and I normally attach it right to the handset but there's a lot of interference you can't always get the best signal so I've attached it to a rotary phone to show what we can do now start this from over here you can see that I have the phone and the handset going into the phone line right now so I'm going to turn on my amplifier, get a little closer, take the rotary phone off the hook, you hear that. You can also hear if I take it off, put the phone in talk mode. Hello, hello. Stuff like that. Now what's also interesting is that the rotary dial itself works, so I can call up any number right now, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna call it my Google voicemail on the rotary dial. Make sure no one's using the line. Alright, we're good.
That's the telephone lineman's butt handset. I hope you enjoyed that first segment. That was actually the first segment I filmed for this show, so hopefully it all gets better from there. And this leads into the first contest. We're going to try to do a contest every episode. This one, if you can remember to the end of the segment, you could hear me dialing a phone number on the rotary dial. Now, if you can figure out what that phone number is, call it, leave a message on my voicemail, and then I will play that message back in the end credits of the next episode. Now, coming up for the next segment, we have 90s cable descramblers and filters, as well as podcasting on the cheap. So today, we're going to be talking about cable descramblers and filters. Okay, so, in front of the camera, there's two descramblers. These were known in the 1990s as hot boxes or black boxes because they could get basically all the pay channels for free. You wouldn't have to do anything. It would decode them all for you. Normally, uh, some channels still do this now, but um, when you go to a pay channel, it's all scrambled. It looks kind of like static. You might be able to make out the picture in the background. Uh, the cable company does this by, well, several methods. There's one called uh, inversion, which basically takes the signal and reverses it. And there's another one that they do by messing up uh, the vertical hold, the horizontal hold, and the color hold. Now some of these were easily figured out by people, and they could reprogram the chips in these boxes so that they could accept all the channels and not have any of them be scrambled. Now I have two boxes here. They're Scientific Atlantic, Scientific Atlanta boxes. Um, they might look the same, but I can tell some different things about them. They are the same model, of course, but uh, this one on top was the first one that I was familiar with. This one was in my house for a while. Um, if you turn it over, you can see this metallic void sticker right here. There was a, When you got these new, they had the same model of these for when you would go and get a regular cable box for your TV when you got cable because some TVs were not cable ready. So these were the basic boxes that you could get from your cable company. Now the one, the void sticker, that shows that this was actually a cable company box at one point and somebody ripped the sticker off to get into the box because usually it was taped shut right here. And then they opened it using these strange torque screws. You can see right there. They're not standard torques. If they were standard torques I could get into here and show you, but there's some very strange security bit torques which I don't seem to have. This one over here, got this a couple years ago. See on the back there's no sticker. There's a date on here from 1995. So you can tell how old these are. Now what's interesting about these is that there were several ways that uh, people were caught using them. 